so I went to a car show today and uh, this is the bits that I got from the car show from the, the uh, stalls the models I bought I've been after this Hot Wheels uh, Ford Escort for quite some time never managed to find it in Tesco's or uh, any of the shops B&M's it's never in the, it's never on the racks when I go and look for it it's never, I never find it at all so someone had this for sale at the car show I thought well I shall get that because that's one I wanted for quite some time um, couldn't find it anywhere uh, yeah it's quite a nice model that I'm pleased to get that one very nice so that's that one uh, it's just a brief video this is a very short one uh, I don't know if anyone's really interested in this at all really but I found these two little 187 scale American trucks um, on some guy's store for £3 each. I thought, well, they're very nice, so I'll get those. I think he bought them in America and brought them over here with him when he was on holiday. So those two are nice to have. Uh, a couple of cheapies. I think this um, Super Kings uh, Matra Rancho, it's seen better days. The rear wheel is quite dog eared. It's a bit beaten up, it's a bit worse for wear, and it's got, hang on, sorry, the dog's making noise in the background, he won't shut up, um, yeah, yeah, so that's, uh, that's quite nice, that go with the Corgi one I've got, well, it's not quite, it's, it's interesting, it's nice to have, it's a bit beaten up, but it's quite good, uh, I've got a Volvo, Super Kings Volvo, um, Estate, uh, in the shell, is it shell? Yeah, it's sort of like the racing support car livery, spare wheels and bits on the top, exhausts and stuff, what have you. Searchlights on the front. Again, that's a bit play worn as well, but it's nice though. The only thing I don't like about this model is the fact that the sills are a bit. It's got a sticky out bit on the sill. That sill should just be um, smoothed off. I had one of these before, I, sm I smoothed off that seal bit with um, with a file, so I could do that on that, on that one as well maybe, but it's a nice model apart from that, tow hook's intact, so the guy had a caravan on the same store, uh, a Super King's caravan, but I don't think I wanted to buy that, so uh, we've got, um, this is a car, it's part of a Hess gasoline set, he told me it lights up, I don't know if it does or not. Uh, Hess Corporation. Let's see if it works. Switched it on. Nah. He said it works, but maybe the battery needs replacing. It's not lit up at all. Don't think that does work, but maybe he needs a new battery. I'll have a look at that later on. Um, not sure what it's meant to be. Ford. Um, no, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I think it's probably a Ford LTD or a Ford Crown Victoria early version. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just a generic car, but it's quite cool. So I got that. That wasn't too expensive, that one. Um, I've got this quite hard to find. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels, Mattel Hot Wheels. Um, uh, 143, it's a Mercedes 500 SEC. Obviously, I got this because I had this in the 80s when these came out new in the 80s. I bought one of these and I really liked it. Take the stickers off it, and you've got quite a nice model. Um, looks better without the stickers. Sorry about the dog making a noise. I took him out for a walk this morning and he's forgotten. Um, yeah, lots of interesting cars at the car show. There's a separate video going to be posted on YouTube of. Uh, I didn't take video clips, I can't be bothered with doing that anymore at car shows, but I did um, I did take lots of photos, so I'm, I'm going to make a video, I'll make a video of all the photos I took of the cars uh, at the car show. So yeah, I was going to say about this one, um, I never liked these button wheels when I had one of these originally, when I bought one back when these, kept, when these were new in the 80s, I had one of these, um, but I didn't like these thin button wheels, I don't know. So uh, I'd swap the wheels on my original one for some wheels off a, off a uh, Burego car. And I saw this in a cheapy box. It's a Burego Renault 5 and it's missing the glass. It's filthy, it's horrible to be honest. But 
it was only 50p and I bought it for the wheels because these are the type of wheels I put on the Hot Wheels car so that Mercedes I'll take the wheels off that and I'll replace it I'll take the wheels off this one I'll swap them out I'll, I'll put the wheels off this Burego Renault onto the uh, Mercedes it's a similar thing there's no axle they just pop onto plastic lugs these these plastic pins are molded onto the base plates on both these cars so um you know, I'll swap the wheels over and it looked quite good and especially if I uh, get my chrome pen and re-chrome the chrome bits with my chrome pen that'll be all right and then I think the rest of this car once the wheels come off it it's going to go in the bin so it's uh I think it's beyond help so um yeah I shall probably chuck that away once I've nicked the wheels off it because it's not it's it's not very nice is it look it looks disgusting but yeah I got it for the wheels uh I've got this bond bug as well this is fairly cheap I how much was it? I think there was this and the Volvo. Yeah, that that um, that was 50p. That was 50p. I got uh, the Mercedes, the Volvo, this Bond Bug, uh, yeah, which is very nice. It's in the un more unusual lime colour. It looks better in the orange, but still. I, I had one of these recently, actually, and I, I, I moved it on, but... Uh, I saw this in the box, I thought, yeah, oh, I think I will get that. There was an orange bond bug at the car show as well. So, yeah, the car show is at Nebworth House near Stevenage. So, um, it's on again tomorrow. Well, I don't know when this video is going to come out, I don't know. But it was on uh, Sunday and Monday, uh, August bank holiday. Yeah, and this is part of it as well. I got, yeah, so I'm trying to say, um, you have got that one. And that one, and that one, and that one. These four, I think it was fifteen pounds or something, or fourteen. I I can't remember. It's a reasonable price anyway. Yeah, and I've already got one of these in the PTT livery that I got from a car boot sale. Um, it's a bit big. The other one's a bit beaten up, but this is uh, pretty good actually. Dinky toys, Viceroy coach. Can't say it. Viceroy coach. Yeah, but the paint works really nice on that. I mean the wheels are too big. It's, that bothered me when I, when this model came out when I originally saw it back in the 70s, whatever it was, whenever it came out. The wheels, the speed wheels look stupid. I modified one once and made the wheel arches smaller and put some authentic wheels and it made it look a whole lot better. But it's nice anyway, despite it's, it's got some charm even though the wheels are stupid oversized. It's still pretty cool. Says so on the back there, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to wind this video up, I think. Um, so that's my little haul from the um, from the classic car show at Nebworth House that I went to today. So just thought I'd share that little video. Cheers then. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next one, which will be an unboxing because I've got a big box of models that I've got Corgi toys that have turned up to unbox. I, I'm too tired to do it today, but I will do it at some point. So. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Take care. Bye.